pack up your hunting gear and prepare for the Zulu Village Rescue Squad Big Game Hunt. Stay tuned for all of the wild details. Here comes this week's academic accomplishments. Remember, you can go to the small version of the newsletter and actually click on the links that your child is using in class each day. In math, we've been focusing on multi-digit whole number addition and subtraction. In reading, we've worked with asking questions about key details, finding the theme of a poem, language and meaning, finding the theme of a story or drama, and comparing and contrasting characters in drama. With regard to writing, we've been focusing on idioms, interjections, adjectives, perfect verb tenses, revising sentences. We've also started on working with narrative, looking at turning points, and dreaming the dream of a story. In spelling and phonics, we're working on IE versus EI and US versus OUS, CK, TCH, DGE endings. NG, NK endings, AUGHT versus OUGHT, the AL and EL endings, and IC, which is equal to the IK, IC endings. This week's incredible super science excursions have involved the following. Can we make it rain? How can you save a town from a hurricane? Day, night, and Earth's rotation who set the first clock, and how can the sun tell you the season? Your child gets to role play a scientist each day. Yes, he or she is solving a lot of interesting scientific dilemmas. Lots of read alouds again this week, and uh, featuring Zulu Dog by Anton Ferreira, we were able to delve into three parts, as well as two bonus tales. One, the wise old woman. Another, the cat and the golden egg. This week's Literacy Corner videos featured the following skills, how plot develops, finding the theme of a poem, explaining relationships in scientific and technical text, compare plot and theme, and finding the theme of a story or drama. And our other series of read-alouds, African Folktale Theater, have featured these African folktales, the story of Mahamadou, a hunter when the world began, Kobe, the hunter who stopped hunting, a rich man and his goat, and the story of Mullum the soldier. Remember, you can access the links to all of these read-alouds by going to the small version of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Lock. Many young kids have trouble sitting still and staying focused. For that reason, there are five ways to help your child stay focused. They are as follows. Get the yayas out first. Moving the body motivates the brain. Try having your child walk or bike to school, play outside after school, do chores around the house, or play on a sports team. Make sure your child has had a chance to run, walk, or jump before sitting down to doing schoolwork. Turn off screens and cell phones. Before your child tackles homework or does anything that takes concentration, turn off the television or if others are watching it, make sure your child is far enough away that he can't be distracted by it. Also, shut down and move him away from the computer, and if your child has a cell phone, make sure that's off too. Make a to-do list. Having a lot of chores and homework assignments can be overwhelming for kids. Help your child focus on getting things done by making a list, together, of everything he needs to do for the day or week. Then let him cross off each task as he finishes it. Use signals. Try to avoid conversations when your child is working. Uh, work out a system of non-verbal signals that both of you understand. And take breathers. During homework time, make sure your child takes a few breaks after working for 10 or 20 minutes, depending on his age. Have him get up and move around, get a drink, and then get back to work. There's more about how you can help your child improve his or her math fluency in this week's edition. This week's article features the following. 
It's important to remember that math fluency is so much more than simply memorizing math facts. Using the above analogy, memorizing words and definitions when learning a second language never guarantees we know how to use those words in a sentence when communicating. Math fluency is what educators and parents alike are striving for when they set out to teach math facts. Better put, math fluency about understanding mathematical concepts to the point of feeling confident in completing math processes and solving problems. Fortunately, there are quite a few ways that you can help little mathematicians to improve math fluency. In other words, ask questions and problems aloud, preferably without a visual aid. If your child struggles, encourages him, him or her to visualize the problem and allow enough time to let your child process the information and generate an answer. Flashcards are great for mental math. Without pencil and paper to work out the problems in a longer, more structured way, children are faced with the necessity to solve it in their heads. For kids who have been working on a skill for a while, build speed and fluency with short drill activities that force kids to solve problems as quickly as possible. Be sure not to use this technique in a way that frustrates or upsets struggling kids. The Zulu Village Rescue Squad members are working incredibly hard. We must keep that momentum going. You can also see them in action by accessing my Twitter site. The link can be found in the small version of the newsletter. Also, please continue to direct your child to my Google site. On the left-hand side of the page, copious opportunities for him or her to keep his or her academic prowess up to full speed, not only for the current lessons that we're doing, but also to prepare for fifth grade in August. And coming next week, it's issue number five entitled Zulu Village Lunacy to be delivered to you for the week ending Friday, June 25th, 2021. Be sure to access this video version as well as the small version of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Log.